First, add a plane and scale it to the size of your desired flag. For example, the Bangladeshi flag has a 10 to 6 ratio. Go to the material properties, create a new material, and change the base color to an image texture. Then, select the flag image you want to use. Next, rotate the plane on the x-axis by 90 degrees so it stands upright. Move it slightly up to position it correctly. Now let's add a flagpole. Add a cylinder and scale it to a thin, tall shape. Place it at the left edge of the flag. Select the flag again, go into edit mode, and add subdivisions to the plane. This will help the flag bend and move smoothly during simulation. Then, select all the vertices that are attached to the pole. Go to the Object Data Properties, create a new vertex group, give it a proper name like Pin Group, and click Assign. Now go to the Physics Properties and enable Cloth Simulation. Under the Shape tab, set the Pin Group to the vertex group you just created. Also, enable Self Collision under the Collision tab. Let's add some Win. From the Add menu, choose Force Field and select Win. Rotate the Win object so it faces the flag and place it at a suitable distance. Go to the physics settings for the wind and increase the strength value. You can experiment with this value to make the flag wave naturally. Now press play and you'll see your flag waving in the wind.